is Tiff back. Um, I am struggling with strep throat, so I am going to try to make this voiceover as good as I possibly can. Um, and today we're working in our Monday journal, which is the altered um, journal. And I have three selfies that I took of myself um, on vacation. And I am tinkering with the idea of using that in my journal today. And I wasn't sure, like I'm always not sure. So I'm just going to grab a few things. And one of those things that I'm going to use today are these, um, these are tea dyed, um, like under papers and just tea dyed random papers, um, jelly prints, uh, not jelly prints. I think most of those, <clears throat> excuse me, are, um, just under papers and then maybe some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Deli paper, deli paper, not jelly paper, but deli paper. And so I'm just kind of tinkering with the idea of, um, what I want to use and how I want it to, uh, just, I just like feel it when I put paper down and then I'm like, yes, I feel it. And as you see there, um, that is a typed, on my um, typewriter. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you may have missed it, but I took my typewriter to be serviced with this sweet um, older gentleman who uh, was full of tips and very helpful, and he did, he serviced my typewriter, and so I used it um, to type out some words, and the words I'm going to read to you guys come directly from my morning pages. Um, morning pages was something that I took from, um, the book, the creative, I think it's called creative way. Huh, man, I tell you, I'm not sure this morning, but, um, the, um, I've been doing morning pages for probably two years now. And so, um, every morning I sit down and write and write and just kind of brain dump and these words kind of hit me. Um, when I was filming this and so that's what I typed out on the typewriter there are lots of typographical errors because well I don't really typewriters is hard it there's no backspace there's no um cover it up type of thing on a manual typewriter so um enough of that I am going to talk through that in a few minutes but I'm using this amazing handmade texture paste for my friends um Mickelnay she has a video on making how to make texture paste guys do not waste your money on the store-bought stuff go watch her video and make some of this stuff because it is way better i like it way better than the store-bought stuff so i'll make sure to link her video below as well um and so i really enjoyed um using this through this stencil and the stencil that i'm using here is a crafters workshop and it the number is 488s stencil and i only know that because of course i wrote the <laughs> i wrote the uh little process over to the side the recipe for this page so and we are going to be using some uh, dina wakely scribble sticks and I, okay so i took the plastic thing that comes in the scribble sticks out because it's really hard to get the scribble sticks out if that plastic thing's still in there. Well, what I found was you have a lot of extra space. So I don't have very many um, Neo colors. And the only reason that I bought the scribble sticks is um, to kind of play with them for you guys. Um, and I've had some people ask me, do I have them? How do I use them? And here I'm going in with the Neo colors. So what I want to talk through really quick is that the Neo colors I felt like were smoother and like creamier and kind of easier to manipulate. And I am going to do like a complete review on these um, and maybe do some swatches and kind of talk through what my kind of um, Neo colors versus the um, scribble sticks. But I do really love that. Um, blackberry color that was there so um i think that i don't know like price wise what's cheaper i did get these with a coupon i feel pretty confident 
for about maybe $16 or so. And I told my husband it was re research um, for research for my YouTube channel. So, y'all just go with it, okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to uh, go in there with the Quinacridone um, Nickel Azo Gold. And um, kind of the reason for the color choice was because I knew I had that tea-dyed um, deli paper that I had typed on. And I wanted to make sure that um, it kind of blended in, okay? And so, here, I'm just kind of showing you how you can manipulate it by, like, um, pushing it around with your finger. Almost like a pastel type, um, if that makes any sense. And then I'm going to go in here, and I'm just kind of playing with the raised area there that the texture paste created. And I'm going in with some gesso and a palette knife. And this is the Deco Art Premium Gesso, um, not the media that I usually use. And then I'm going to go in with the scribbles. And I just love how the scribbles look when you just kind of take it through. So I'm still playing with these three photos. And you're going to see that I'm not going to use all three. I decided it was just too much for the size of page that I had. And it's not um, very often that I actually use pictures of myself in my journal. But um, I did the other day and I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Now I'm just going to read very quickly uh, kind of what um, I typed out. I'm learning that it's okay to be different. To be myself. To be okay with those I may be too much for. Those aren't my people. To be okay that not everyone may like me. That some may look at, look at my carefree soul with dreadlocks. Yes, I have dreadlocks. And judge me. I am learning to write and speak to my truth. Without comparison and without compromise. Without feeling the need to explain myself. But to love myself deeply and unapologetically. Because I am okay with being me. And so those were kind of the words that hit me in my morning pages the other day that I wanted to share with you guys. And as you see, I'm letting the overhang kind of happen. And then I added that other um, kind of coffee dyed um, paper. Now, one of the things that I did realize is that I love overhangy stuff in my journal. Like, I like you to be able to, when you see my journal, I don't want you to see like just a book. I want you to see like the papers and the stitching and the things like that that go over the edge. Um, and I knew that, but it really hit me when I was working in this particular journal because it is not like a junk journal that I've used before, which I do enjoy more, I think. So I'm going to work on creating more texture and probably adding some sewing in some pages to come because I just love the way that looks. So as you saw, I went in with, um, some more scribble sticks right at the very end and I'm going to go in and we're going to make a reference page. Now, if this is your first time watching me, um, this particular journal, I always reference on the left hand side what I used. It's kind of like my recipe for the page. So I'm going to go in and I'm just taking some scrap paper that had the little tea dye and I'm writing a little bit about each thing. So I'm writing that I used um, Michelinay's um, who is Michelle. I'm writing that I use her texture paste. I'm also writing the numbers of the um, Crafters Workshop 488S stencil. Um, and then I'm going to write and reference the scribble sticks that I used, which was the turquoise and the blackberry. And then I used the orange Neo Color 2. And that was really more so just so I could feel the difference between the Neo Color and the a scribble sticks as I was making this page and then um, the quinacridone nickel azo gold I'm just going to take and swatch that out a little bit and I put on there my selfie on regular copy paper so I just printed that selfie directly out onto regular copy paper not photo paper or anything and then uh, tea and coffee dyed under paper that's under paper not under pants and then type um 
I did my typewriter letter and then my deco art premium gesso is what I referenced. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you click the subscribe button. Make sure that you comment. Share my videos with your friends and fans. And guess what? Invite this southern gal to come on in and say hey. Alright, until next time. Toodaloo.